Good morning. Thanks to the generosity of California food handlers and my advanced culinary arts students winning California's food cookbook competition, we got some pretty cool supplies for the classroom, including some to do molecular gastronomy. So the molecular gastronomy things that we received were a food styling kit, molecular gastronomy kit, and even a mixer kit. So we this is our basic molecular gastronomy kit. We packed with these special ingredients. You may recognize them. And here's the little booklet for that. Now today what I'm going to show you is how to make balsamic vinegar pearls. To make the balsamic vinegar pearls, we are going to need to use some agar agar, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. The first thing we need to do is measure out two cups of olive oil, put it in a container, and then freeze it for at least 30 minutes. All right, this is our freezer. We're just going to set this olive oil in here. We're gonna freeze it for 30 minutes. In order to prevent physical contaminants from getting in your food, make sure you remove your jewelry, put on a chef coat or apron, and a head cover. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the stove. We are going to bring the balsamic vinegar and the agar-agar to a boil. Be careful not to bring in the hot vinegar. It can choke you and it can give you chemical pneumonia in your lungs. All right, so we are definitely at a boil, so let's remove this from the heat. We are going to let this balsamic vinegar mixture sit for five minutes. Look how it's gelatinized. This is perfect. So now we're going to transfer this. It almost looks like a demi glass. We're going to transfer it to a piping bag. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and cut a small slit in the top. and we're going to slowly drop beads into the olive oil. Now I'm going to transfer the beads into some water. Essentially what we just did was make some balsamic vinegar caviar. So let's go ahead and make a base. I'm actually using my son's school lunch for this. You can practice plating with your school lunch too. Make sure to try to make it nice and tall. Tomatoes to brighten the color. I'm going to go ahead and use this zester and zest the orange so we have some brightness added to the dish both in appearance and flavor. And now it's time to add the balsamic vinegar pearls. Look how beautiful that is. And there you have it. We have utilized our caviar beans with the school lunch. All right, I'm gonna take the leftovers, wrap them up and put them in the fridge for later. And that's your introduction to molecular gastronomy.